Okay, good to have you here again. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's another opportunity to learn and grow and become a, a, a better programmer. All right, this is something that uh, we don't joke with here and we don't take it lightly. All right, it's an opportunity to learn once again. Okay, welcome to this project variable functions. Okay, so we are going to follow this order. I'm going to give you know a, a brief explanation about this project then we look into some concept after which the project um, uh, since there's no quiz questions here the tax will be solved 100% so watch to the end of this video the tax will be solved 100% please kindly like give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to help us grow to encourage us to grow all right so anything look through the resources and again um, looking at the, the requirement you're expected to use vi vim or mac then uh, your code your device will be compiled on uh, using gcc and expected to create a readme.md file their code will be checked with betty to ensure it's betty compliant mm -hmm. and all then again supposed to have a main.h which we will create this header file and push to the remote basically that is what we have here all right so so before we begin like i said all tasks will be solved so just hang it there we are going to look through uh, some concept about variable function veradic functions rather so what are they? What are veradic functions? Like the concept here, veradic functions. This is the concept we are looking at. The concept of veradic uh, functions. So what are they? Veradic functions are functions we take we, which take a variable number of arguments and are declared with an ellipsis in place of a last word parameter. So, um, just you know, this is you know uh, what it looks like. A variadic function. You declare the function. This is the function name. This is a lamp which you return uh, a type integer. Then you have the 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 argument of this function instead of declaring. Uh, all the parameters here you are going to use an ellipsis for the last parameter all right so know that a variety function must have at least one named parameter okay so this will be wrong uh, let me illustrate so for this oh, not just trying to get down this here so this without just declaring uh, this function without any named parameter this is absolutely wrong this is not the way to declare a veradic function okay again uh, syntax for declaration a function that accepts a variable name of argument must be declared with a prototype that says so so you write the fixed argument as usual and then uh, tax on on this this uh, theory dot which are called ellipses to indicate the possibility of an ad additional argument so the this is the same task like uh, uh, let me show it here all right so this is the the syntax on my code block you see you have an integer then a function name your your argument or your parameters then instead of declaring the last one you indicate it with what with an with theory dot which are called what ellipses so basically that is what um a veradic function does okay so that's the syntax okay so any other concept here
Okay, I believe that is what we should know for now. That's just the basics you should understand, all right, about uh, variadic functions. So that's the basic you need for now. About you can read more actually about. Uh, if you need more details, you can actually look through the resources. They will help you to know more about. Uh, Veradic function. So basically, what we are going to do now is to jump right in and create our fi files and start solving the tax. All right. So first things first. Let me. Let me split my screen. Just going to uh, hide this note. All right. So. Okay. I don't know this. All right. So, so we are going to start by creating our. We're going to create the. Files. I'm going to create the files. Okay. So for the first one, we are going to create our readme.md. But before that, I will just navigate it to our GitHub repo, then our directory. So let's do that. But let's be sure we are in the root directory. By doing cd slash root. Alright, we are sure we are there now, so I'll just copy this uh, GitHub repo, ls low level, use it control C. So I'll come here, cd, control AV, I'll paste that in. So I'm now in ls, so the next step now is to create this directory. Alright, we are going to create this directory. So I'll go ahead and copy. Okay, if I do, um, you of course you should remember the the code snippet to create a directory which is um, mkdir make directory then you are going to paste in using control av what you copied the name of the directory if i press enter it's going to throw an error why because i already have that if i list files you see a uh, variety function is already there that means i created it already so for you if you are creating it for the first time it's not going to throw any error you're going to do that successfully since i have that so it's telling me I have if you hit enter yours will be created successfully so I'm going to after creating that uh, the next thing is to cd into that directory alright so we are now in that directory okay so the next thing we are going to do now like is in the requirements the general project requirement is to go ahead and create our readme.md file okay so how do we do that? We're going to use VI to create that. All right, readme.md. Okay, so again, this becomes the content of our readme.md file. All right, this was just got in from the find uh, the tax questions for each of them. You see, beauty is variable. You just pick them after the one after the other and write the question. Right, all these functions zero from zero you do the same one two so that's how we arrived at this so you put that into your readme.md file all right uh, it, must, it must be this you can actually put just the project name all right if you like but i actually want it to be descriptive enough all right so that when you push to your github you are going to have you know well a compass uh readme that any visitor can easily understand what you are do what you've done so after doing that, you are going to do escape column wq. So you know, use column q because I'm not saving. So you successfully created your readme.md file. So the next thing we are expected to create our header file. And what is that header file? The header file here is called variadic function dot h. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Use it Ctrl C and 
the cell, don't forget to push your header file. So after we create our header file, we are expected to push it to GitHub repository. So you come back to your terminal, you do vi, you paste the that header file, you press enter. All right. So this is the expected content of your header file, like. I say these things, I got it from here. Look through here your prototypes. So you can see these are the prototypes that we have put here. Alright, these are the prototype. This is the next one. So this prototype we have put there. This is the next one. Then you have the third one. Alright, this is it. So all the prototype for the files you have put here. So that's why you have this there at the end you, you put in your end if so once you are done putting this content into the file you can go ahead to escape and do column wq to save and quit so after doing that you are expected to push your header file to the remote repository so how do you do that first you can okay you do git add you press enter. I'm not doing it again because I already pushed that file. Git add dot press enter then git commit. Commit message. Of course, I use the file name, the radic function. You press, you hit enter. Then after that, you do uh, git push. You do git push and hit enter. Once you are done with that your header file should be pushed to your remote repository all right that file should be in the remote repository okay so having successfully created that the next thing we are going to do right now is to start creating the individual file since we have created um our header file so the next one is to start creating the individual file so here you have what are zero beauty is very bugliness is constant so this is the prototype, write a function that returns the sum of all parameters, okay? So first things first, we copy the file name, use it control C, then you come back here and do VI, control A, V, you paste that, all right? So if I hit enter, it will take me here. So I put this, the content of that file. Alright, these are the header. We are including these two headers. Okay, we are including uh, the variable function dot h, which we are which we already created. This header file. Then we are including this standard argument dot h. So what is standard argument dot h? Uh, standard argument dot h is a header in the C standard library of the C programming language that allow functions to accept an indefinite number of arguments. Alright, so if I uh, let me quickly show you that I think I have that on my notepad I think I close that So this is what we are looking at. Standard argument dot h. I just needed to say one or two things about it. All right. This is the concept. Standard uh, argument dot h. It's a header file in the C standard library of C programming language that allows function to accept an indefinite number of arguments. Like we said, we talked about um, veridic functions, and what we said. Uh, there are functions which take a variable number of argument and are declared which takes a variable number of functions and are declared with an ellipsis in place of the last one so a standard argument once you include it into the file it allows a function to accept an indefinite number of what argument without uh, you specify them all the argument you know you once you include standard uh, argument dot h e the the the, the function we uh, have that uh, 
we know that okay the the argument i'm expecting all of them might not be here so it gives room for an indefinite number of such uh, arguments all right so that is that about that you can always read more on uh, that concept so that's what we have there that's the header file these are comment section then this is our the name of our function which is returning what returning uh a type integer so it's returning an integer then this is our the argument of this function okay this is a function argument all right then you have this ellipsis this ellipsis which shows that uh, this is a variadic function all right then you have vlist app start and va end so some of this concept i think uh, VA list is a okay. What is it? It's a it's, it's a list of complete object types suitable for holding the information needed by the macros. So you have VA start, VA copy, VA argument, and VA end. All right. You can always um, look uh, more. You can always look into uh, this concept. So uh, VA VA list a complete object type that's suitable for holding the information needed by macros by macros. So that is why you have this uh, this uh, this VA list. The list this is the name, and this uh, we are declaring uh, this on side integer i. Then sum equals zero. So VA starts. Then you have VA end. Then we are returning sum. Okay. So know what VL is, is a complete object type that is suitable for holding information needed by the macros. So you have start, you have VA copy, you have VA argument, and VA end. Alright. So that is just an intro. You can always read more about that concept. Okay. So this should be the content of this your file. So after putting in this, you are going to tap escape, then you do column WQ. Alright, you hit enter. So you can always check with Betty. Betty and your file name to be sure that uh, your code is Betty compliant and for of course Betty have done a check so it didn't return any error that means our code is Betty compliant and in line with Betty documentation so the next thing you are going to do now is to do your git add you hit enter then go ahead and do your git commit fm your commit message the name of the file you hit enter then you go ahead and do git push git push so you hit enter you're going to push your code to the remote uh, repository that will push your code to the remote repository of course once you are done you can always come back here to check you can always check your code you see it's all the checks are correct so you can always come back to check uh, your code so after that you move to the next file okay you move to the next file to, to b is to be the value of a variable write a function that prints number followed by a new line this is the prototype of course we already had that included that in our, our veridic function dot h in the header file so we are going to go ahead and copy this file name Use control C. So first, let me clear here. So you are going to do uh, VI control AV. All right. So this should be the content of that file. A function that prints. A function that prints numbers followed by a new line. Take note, it's a variadic uh, function. Here we are including. Uh, main.h standard input output.h then standard argument.h theory header files we are including here this are documentation then this is the the function declaration this is a function name which is print underscore number which is returning the type void and this is the argument of this function and of course with this you should know that this is what this is a variadic function because of this ellipsis so this takes in this uh, put this into this uh, function and at the end of the day 
print f new line all right so you can look through this okay you you declare via list all right which is norms on signed int all right you declare your unsigned integer as in this then you have va start i talked about va list in the last um file we created you have norms and n for index is equal to zero index while index is less than n increment index you know increment index so uh, print f you are going to output this as a decimal okay a decimal integer va argument norms then print return this integer and if index is not equal to n minus one and separator is not equal to null print separator okay print separator create print f in a new line so that's exactly what you have in this file all right that's what you have so once you have put the content of this file you put it the content into this file the next thing you are going to do you do escape column wq you save and quit so again you can come and check with uh, betty betty file name to be sure that uh, betty is happy with you all right you see after returning he did throw any error that means betty is satisfied what we did so you are going to go ahead and do git add dot you hit enter you do git commit i for m commit message You hit enter then you are going to then do git push to push to the remote you hit enter once you hit enter your code should be pushed to the remote uh, repository so the next thing is to go ahead and check go ahead and check so let's run this together so you see it's all checked it's all checked all checked correctly so please if you are confused pause and go back and rewatch this video to guide you so i'll close this we we'll go to the next one these two okay one woman's constant is another woman's variable write a function that prints strings followed by a new line so these are our prototypes and it gave us certain conditions to follow all right so go ahead and copy the file name go ahead and copy the file name so you do your vi control a v all right vi control a v if i hit enter okay so this is the content of our file like i'll be explaining okay this is the content file so do well to put this the the document this the document the source code will be left in the description to this video you can always write it from there all right just take your time you can type this out you can type this out into this file all right so that's the content once you are done with that you can then do your escape column wq all right then you hit enter can go ahead and check with betty betty file name to be sure that is betty compliant and follow betty documentation style so after that you can do your git add you hit enter git commit m commit message of course the file name you hit enter then and then go ahead and do your git what do your git push do your git push so once you are done with that again you come back here to check if your code is correct all right you run your checks so let me just let's do this together now so you see this check correctly because we did we follow the right steps all right so that's why this video will guide you all right this video will guide you so the last tax here is um, this to to be to be is to be the value of a variable write a function that prints anything that's the prototype c character i integer f floats s uh, 
character also so that is the function we want to write now function that prints anything so go ahead to copy the file name using control c after copying we come back here and do vi then control a v we paste the file name then go ahead and hit what hit enter okay it's quite bulky let me do page up so that you can see the beginning okay this is the beginning of this file all right this is the beginning of this file quite um lengthy all right this is the header we include the variable function dot h standard argument dot h and standard input output dot h then this our documentation our comment then this our function declaration of course this is a veridic function because of this ellipsis so these are our arguments all right okay so you can go ahead and put this this page down this is the end of that file so the document will be the link in the description of this video so you can always uh, pick it up from there so you put this into that file once you are done you do your escape column wq to save and quit you hit enter then you can go ahead and check for betty all right betty file name to be sure that your code betty is, is happy with you all right you see our code follow the betty standard and is betty compliant all right always follow what you are doing here to be in line all right to be sure that you are doing what the right thing all right so once you are done with that you can then do your git add dot you press enter then uh, git commit right to m commit message of course the find name i'll paste it there hit enter then you do your git push do your git push once you hit enter it's going to push your code to the remote repository and then finally guys what do we do we come back to check all right you can see all check correctly all check correctly all check correctly so you can have the same result you can have the same result please like follow this channel uh subscribe to this channel like my video subscribe please if it's valuable to you drop a comment if you have any question drop a comment in the section in the comment section of this video i would like to interact with you all right hope this was helpful please like subscribe and I will see you in the next uh, video. Alright. Thank you so much for staying there to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.